and welcome to Weekly Reflection with Sonia Rodriguez. Today is Wednesday, the 19th of January, 2022. We are going to reflect on the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 3, verses 1 to 6. Let's open our hearts and listen. Again he entered the synagogue, and a man was there who had a withered hand. They watched him to see whether he would cure him on the Sabbath, so that they might accuse him. And he said to the man who had the withered hand, Come forward. Then he said to them, Is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath, to save life or to kill? But they were silent. He looked around at them with anger. He was grieved at their hardness of heart and said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately conspired with the Herodians against him how to destroy him. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel passage begins directly with the mention of a man who had a withered hand. This particular hand condition could be a birth defect or due to a damaged nerve or may be caused by some kind of injury or disease. In his version of the same story, Luke specifies that the man's right hand was withered, which in all probability meant that this ailment impacted his ability to earn his basic livelihood. We don't know if the man was in the process of approaching different physicians seeking a cure or if he had already done so and given up hope of being healed. But what we do know is that Jesus instantly noticed him as he entered the synagogue and was moved with compassion. Not only did Jesus notice the man, he also instructed him to come ahead so that whatever happened next would be witnessed clearly by everyone around as he knew their thoughts. This situation provided the authorities a great opportunity to find fault with Jesus since it was the Sabbath. Now, for a moment, let's imagine someone who needs urgent medical attention and visits the nearest doctor, but is greeted by a signboard that says, Sunday closed. Local officials around point to the board and drive the person away. The doctor is available and is able and willing to attend to the patient, but the law-abiding officials are blinded by the signboard and totally ignore the person's need. A normal doctor may choose to bow down to the pressure of local authorities, but not our divine physician. Our Lord, who is above time and space, does not need to refer to a calendar to decide when it would be auspicious or lawful to reach out to someone in need. With a heart filled with compassion, he always puts love above law and willingly reaches out to all those who need healing. Thus, in today's Gospel, Ignoring the critics, Jesus heals the man and restores him completely, giving him a new lease of life. As Jesus says, those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. Furthermore, if we observe, the man didn't speak a word. It was Jesus who spotted him and reached out to him. This reminds us of how amazingly accessible our Saviour is to us and how sensitive he is to our needs. In our world of medicine today, we often encounter long waiting lists to get appointments with specialist doctors, who then charge hefty fees and issue us fancy medical bills. On the other hand, we have our divine specialist, who even before we ask or approach him, is aware of our pain and he himself reaches out to heal us. No waiting list, no appointments, no fees, just a heart filled with unconditional love. Helping others cannot be restricted to any kind of time constraint or excuse. While abiding with regulations is good and necessary, let us ensure that it never overrides humanity. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for your mercy and love that are new every morning. 
Thank you for inviting us to come to you and experience your healing, comfort and strength anytime, anywhere. Forgive us for the times we have failed to reach out to help others and felt bound by rules or made excuses. Help us to follow your example and willingly share your love with others. We ask all of this in the mighty, holy and precious name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.